Hello my friends, this is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Experts, and in this week's quick video, I wanna cover uh, how do you fix pills that have gone red in Tableau, and we'll also talk a little bit about why has that happened, and maybe some ways for you to avoid that in the future. Um, so we're gonna look at three main reasons that your pill might have turned red. Uh, so the first would be if you update your data source and a column was renamed or deleted. Okay, so for example, I've just got a basic superstore based worksheet here, sales by subcategory. Now let's say that I go to update my data source. So I'll double click here. I'm gonna hit my drop down, edit the connection. I'm gonna swap it over to an updated version of the same data, very similar data. And right away I got a warning. It was like, uh, there's a sort that you're doing on subcategory, that's not valid anymore. So all right, I guess we'll find out what's going on. So I'll say okay, and I go back to my uh, worksheet called renamed column, and we got a red pill. Uh, so the reason for this is because there is no longer a column called sales in the Excel file. There was originally, and I was able to use it to build this worksheet, but there isn't any more. Um, so now actually that field is called revenue instead. So I've got two options here. Option number one is I can just straight up, you know, drag revenue where sales was before and, and just replace it. And, and that's fine. That's one way of fixing it. However, there is a kind of a more efficient way of doing this, um, especially if you've used, like if I use that sales field in multiple worksheets or if I'm referencing it in calculations, it's really kind of a nuisance to have to go replace it one by one. Um, when I first started using Tableau, I thought that's what you had to do, which sucked. Uh, but now what you can do, well, you can always do this. I just took me a while to learn it. Um, you could go to the broken field. And if there's a field that you can replace it with, so in this case, revenue, I can just hit the drop down on sales and then say, replace references. And then in this case, just find the field I want to replace it with. So I say revenue, I say, okay. And as you can see, that's another way of replacing it. And again, the nice thing about that is across your entire workbook, not just this worksheet, but your entire workbook, whether it's the row shelf, the column shelf, the marks card, in a calculation, it's gonna replace those broken references. So that's the most efficient way of replacing that, okay? Uh, so a couple other reasons you might have a red field. Um, one of those is if you change your field from being not aggregated to aggregated or vice versa, aggregated to not aggregated. So for example, let's say I'm creating a calculated field and I'm, I'm, all, I'm all excited, you know, I'm jacked up, but, just taking a Tableau class and I'm like, oh, I wanna create a profit ratio and see what that looks like and do my thing here. And then I put it on my worksheet, pop this on here. And then I realize, oh dang, those numbers aren't right at all. I totally forgot to aggregate my calculation. So now it's summing the profit ratio for every row together and coming up with some crazy numbers, right? Um, so in this case, what I'm going to do is go back to my calculation profit ratio, instead of just profit divided by revenue, it's going to be sum of profit divided by sum of revenue. Okay, well, Tableau is going to be unhappy about this because right now Tableau is treating it like an aggregated field or sorry, treating it like a not aggregated field. So what it's done is it's added sum and it's summing the rows of data together. So Tableau thinks about calculations kind of in two ways. There's either row level calculations that do not have aggregations in them, and they have to be aggregated later, like where it says sum of profit ratio here. So that's one option. Other option is the field is already aggregated because you wrote the aggregations directly into your calculated field. Okay. I'm going to drop a link in the description to a video that we did on aggregations and calculations, why they're important, why you should care. So if you want to check that out in its entirety, you can. Uh, but the simple uh, solution here would just be to you know, drag the new profit ratio or the updated profit ratio over the old one. And then you can see now instead of some profit ratio, it says AGG, a profit ratio, or aggregated, user-defined aggregation. Okay, uh, last thing, you know, the last main reason that comes to mind why your calculated field might be broken is just if there's just some syntax issue, right? So if I create a calculated field and I'm like, oh, I want to calculate the cost of goods sold, that would be revenue minus profit. And then, you know, if anything goes wrong, like just something random, like, oh, there's just a random extra parenthesis. And then I try and use that field. Okay, Tableau won't even let me. So let me, let me write it correctly first this on here. Now, if I come back later and edit this and let's say I'm messing around doing something and I kind of forgot and then, you know, throw an extra parenthesis on there, 
just that alone will be enough to, to break this and Tableau would say it's invalid. So there's other issues and errors you can run across some of the ta table calculations and things like that, but those are some of the top of mind reasons that your pill might turn red. Um, so hopefully that helps you kind of troubleshoot your situation if you've run into one of those. Uh, cool. So uh, there's an info button up here in the top corner. Um, we would love to have you join for one of our classes. Uh, that's, that's what that info button links out to. We run classes every single month. Um, the beginner Tableau classes, intermediate calculations, advanced calculations, Tableau prep. Um, we do all kinds of classes because we want to help people. We don't think anybody should have to be on their Tableau journey alone. So we'd love to have you join for one of those. And then we drop free content here on YouTube every single week. So we'd love to have you follow along for that as well. Um, thanks so much for the support and we'll catch you on our next video. Thanks.